What are you doing? It feels like you're sticking it right in the eye. How? Because I'm not. All the men basically don't know what they're doing. So they're running to our dressing room asking us if we can do their makeup and hair and put their wigs on and so yeah, it's getting rather fraud. Not due to us. <laughs> due to all the men <laughs> that don't know how to. It's always, put always the men's on. fault. It's always men's fault, obviously. Of course it is. Can you just tilt your head forward for me? Yeah. Right, Barry, for the sake of you wearing this, I'll wear it and at least it gives a bit more cover then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it is the donkey costume proving a bit of a headache? Just a bit. Yeah. The legs are not tailored or fitted or anything like that. It's just more like a sort of poncho sort of thing, really. So it, it left the, the undercarriage somewhat exposed, you know. <laughs> this will be the first panto with an 18 certificate on it. <laughs> the first time I've seen it. Don't ask <laughs> about the costume. <laughs> Cass has altered it and I don't know what she's done with it at all. The costume, but the costume's totally wrong. So you can see that there's two guys in grey tights. Oh, those tights are all me. Well, um, uh, but that's why Glenn had got that additional bit. I'm going to put their trousers on. They've got knickerbocker trousers. Um, they're going to have to wear them. Yeah. Oh, shit. Bollocks. I'm not ready. It's, no, I'm not going to fire it. I'm not firing. 